Hey everyone, it's Marguerite from the DIY Duo and we are doing another variation on stuffed peppers because it's coming up on fall. These lovely peppers from the garden, this is the end of it. John loves stuffed peppers, so we're going to do it again with turkey chopped meat. However, this is my new favorite uh, Trader Joe's item, which is called Harvest Blend. So we are going to cook up the turkey chopped meat. We are going to cook up the Harvest Blend. We're also going to use one can of black beans. We're going to mix everything together and it's going to be delicious. So step one is going to be boil these just for a little bit because John wants them soft. So I've got the water boiling and once it's boiled, I'm going to put them in for only two minutes and then take them out. I am going to cook the turkey chopped meat. I'm gonna mix it up with some garlic, onion, celery, and my other favorite, the 21 seasoning salute, salt and pepper. That's it. The harvest blends. I'm gonna follow the directions on the back of the bag, which is really to boil it with some chicken broth and some butter. And then I'm gonna rinse these beans. All of this mixes together and goes into the peppers. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put some oil in the pan. I use olive oil. This is a new um, Kalamata olive oil from Trader Joe's. I like the other one better, but for some reason they can't get it. Anyway, it's okay. I've got the water boiling there. All right, I've cut up the celery. I used half the onion and I used the three garlic cloves and I'm gonna soften this for a little bit. In the meantime, my water is boiling and I'm going to drop the peppers in. And as I said, I'm only gonna boil them for perhaps a minute. And I'm not gonna crowd the pot. I'm gonna do four at a time. And I'm gonna give them a minute, maybe two. And I'm gonna put a cover on this. This should soften in a couple of minutes. I need a cover for this also. Two minutes are up. In go the next. You know what? These are small enough that they might all fit. And they do. So we'll set it for another two minutes. And let's check on. You know what, maybe I'll be a bit more generous with the olive oil. What we want to do is get the onions uh, translucent without burning the garlic, because once you burn the garlic, you just have a burnt taste that you're not going to be able to get rid of. And I 
have this on like a medium heat. You know what, these haven't really come back to a boil yet. So I'm gonna cheat and give them another minute. Okay, all the peppers are out. Now, I'm just gonna remove this. We are getting translucent onions and we're starting to brown the garlic. So that means we want to stop cooking them only. And we're going to add the turkey chop meat. We're going to cook this through. We're going to add the seasonings. We have salt, we have pepper, again I do more pepper than I do salt, we are on a low salt diet here in this house, so we get most of our flavor from other seasonings besides salt. And then my 21 seasoning salute gives it a good flavor. Okay. So we're just going to keep breaking this up in the pan until everything is cooked through. And while this is cooking through, we are going to get started on the harvest blend. Okay, cannot be simpler. One and three quarters of a cup of the chicken stock, a tablespoon of butter. Bring it to a boil. When it comes to a boil, half the bag goes in and then we simmer. But in the meantime, let's see what's going on with our turkey. Pretty much cooked. You're making soft peppers? I am. Good, I can pick some up for dinner. Yes, you can. Excellent. When will they be done? They will probably be done in an hour to an hour and a half by the time all is said and done. 5.30, 7 o'clock. Is that too late for you? It takes that long to make stuffed peppers. Would you like to gut the peppers for me? No, I don't know exactly how you do that. Okay. Are those garden peppers? They are. The last of the garden peppers. All right, this part is done. Let's give it a taste, just to make sure we don't need to re-season. Perfect. All right. We're going to put this aside. What are we doing here? Not boiled yet. The chicken stock and the butter is boiling. Here goes our half a package. 
we are going to lower the gas and we're going to let it simmer. First, we're going to stir it. Let's use my little knife to stir it around. All right. We're going to let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. I'll give it 10 minutes for now. Okay, let's see. Nope. Probably needs another five minutes. It's getting close, though. Okay, let's take a look. and it's certainly done. In the meantime, I'm gonna wash dishes. This is what I'm gonna do because once I try and mix this all in this pan, it's gonna go all over the place. So I'm going to wash what I boiled the peppers in so that I've got a bigger surface area to mix this all together. That's what I'm gonna do next. Perfect timing. I literally just finished washing the dishes. Yep, this is perfect. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually gonna put the oven on to 375. And we're gonna start to mix everything up. Who's waiting for something to fall? It's not gonna happen, princess. It's just not gonna happen, princess. It's just not gonna happen like that. I know your dreams are shattered. I'm sorry. No, there's onions in here. You can't have. Okay. Now we're gonna mix. Wonderful. Oh, you know what? I should let this steam so the rest will come out nice and easy. I mean, let that steam. And where did I put my beans? Here they are. And our black beans. Mix everything up. I think I have more stuffing than I have peppers, but that's okay. That means lunch. I have lunch for the week. All right. Can you see what I'm doing? going to give it a taste. We are going to give it a taste. We could add a little salt. Not much. Like I said, because we're on a low salt diet. A little bit. And a little pepper. taste. Perfect. Mm. 
Wouldn't change a thing. Let's see if we can get the rest out of here. Yeah, I need something better to scrape it with. But we'll get the rest out. Okay, with my knife, I have already cored and hollowed out all of the peppers. And so now it's just a matter of taking the mixture and stuffing them all. So, oops, I made a mess. Good thing the counter's clean. And once they're all stuffed, I'll show you my little topping and then they go in the oven. Believe it or not, I didn't have much left over. Darn. So I'm only gonna have enough for lunch for one day. Oh well. Okay, these are all stuffed. Basically what I like to do, and it's just a step that I like to do, it's not required, is I just like to top each one with a little bit of my sauce. It's my homemade sauce. You could use pizza sauce. You could use any kind of sauce. You don't have to use sauce at all, like I said. Okay, this one's ready. Turn this one over closer. This goes back in the fridge. And I am just gonna put a little bit of water in the base of each one of these. Just so they steam a little bit, they don't dry out. The oven is probably up to temperature at this point. Almost good enough. So I'm gonna put these in the oven, 375, about a half an hour. So, because everything's cooked. So it's really just warming them up and making them hot at this point. And it sounds like they are ready to come out of the oven. Ignore this. I just cooked bones for Athena in our roasted cauliflower, which we have a video on already, along with it. But here are our stuffed peppers. And they look fabulous. I think we'll do this. Okay. We're gonna let them cool off for maybe 10 minutes and we're ready to eat. We're going to have stuffed peppers with a little bit of roasted cauliflower on the side. Athena's gonna have a bone and that's dinner.